so talk me through you're doing all these crazy little projects that all sound awesome you know you're the light expert and then tell me how you get involved with you know light engine design and what was your kind of idea behind that where did you want it to be how do you get involved that kind of stuff oh sure um we started a, a LED lighting company specifically for horticultural purposes, and that was uh, 2002, I believe. Yeah, and uh, I've had several partners since uh, since then, and uh, we've gained quite a following. We've really never marketed ourselves in press, or uh, really haven't done the social media thing. And you know, I'm I'm. It's sad to say I personally do not have a Facebook account. You probably don't want to announce that, but, but I don't. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's uh yeah, I've got, I've got family that want me to buy their goats and trade their sheep and stuff. And I, I don't have time for it today. The truth is so, so, uh, you know, a farm, whatever the farm games are, but anyway, we had the company up and running doing fairly well. Um, we were doubling our income every year for four or five years straight, we separated from our marketing company and uh, it was, you know, not, not necessarily a friendly separation, but uh, we found ourselves having to rebrand ourselves. So we rebranded ourselves Tall Trees LED Company. And again, this is all word of mouth. We really haven't had any, any press to speak of. And I've had, we've had stories here and there, of course, a lot of our customers, and we probably have on the order of about a little bit under 3,000 individual customers, and that's including retail and commercial wow. uh, to date. And um, they would write stories about us and reviews of the lights and give, give us some good press. And we, uh, we pride ourselves on our uh, uh, service. And uh, I think I, I don't think you'll find any of my customers to say that I didn't give them a fair shake or give them the attention they deserved. Yeah. And uh, so, so anyway, we, we, we're going along and it's well you know what i think i want this to be my last career or next to the last but we need to do something a little bit bigger so i looked at taking the company public which we did uh we did a, a merger into a public company and we named it light engine design corp and it all kind of evolved from there about five or six years ago i met with uh the then ceo of curtis mathis um, and I met him through a friend of mine, uh, uh, Paul Williams, who infamous, or I should say famous in the uh, Dallas area as far as his business skills. And he's a great guy besides. But Paul introduced me to them and thought that we might have some synergy from a business perspective. And I might be able to design some lighting for them because Curtis Mathis, if you haven't ever heard of them, uh, they're, they're what? 60 year company, yeah. 60 year old company, and they started out in televisions and stereos. And uh, they actually, I well, won't we'll go through the whole history, but uh, the, uh, the current Curtis Mathis uh, company purchased the name uh, because Curtis Mathis went out of business and converted the company to a solid state lighting company for com uh, consumer lighting. So that's light bulbs and you know, and construction lights and things like that. And I looked and spoke with the then CEO, that was Mike Chester, and sadly Mike passed um, uh, a year and a half or two ago. Um, and, uh, but I'm trying to carry on his vision and, uh, you know, make his family proud of, uh, of Curtis Mathis. We've developed and are developing a group of companies uh, that revolve around lighting, but you'll find that each of the individual companies um, are niche companies in the, in, in, on their own right, uh, such as uh, Curtis Mathis Grow Lights, is what Tall Trees eventually became, mm -hmm. is horticultural lighting. And Curtis Mathis, Curtis Mathis Therapeutics is the red light therapy mm -hmm. for human and animal therapy. And, uh, and there's more, but, and I have to check with Paul because he's the expert at what I can and can't say as a public company. Um, you know, I, I used to just tell everybody everything all the time, and now that gets you in trouble with the SEC. So I have to be very careful about what kind of information I'm handing out. Anyway, that's, uh, that's where we are today. Yeah. Well, crazy story. You touched on even more stuff than, uh, <laughs> 
than you should have probably, but you know, still uh, awesome. You know, I can tell that you're a very straight up guy giving people a full picture, which is great. And so you get into it, you go public, you know, through, I guess, a reverse merger in a lot of ways, uh, people would call it. And now I guess to cap things off, you know, maybe tell people, you know, what's your day to day look like? So you've got a bunch of different areas. Like you said, you've got red light, you got horticulture you've got other stuff you know side projects saving turtles and things you're doing is your day-to-day more you know doing sales or is it more planning hey like this company wants this to happen and it's more of the design part and the how are we going to make this work what's your what's your day-to-day look like i'm sure it's a little bit of both but yeah it's it, it, it it's um we're kind of running kind of Spartan right now. We, for all intents and purposes, we, uh, and of course I missed something huge. Um, we actually merged or acquired Curtis Mathis in the process. That's, <laughs> I forgot to say that part. Um, but so, so, you know, and of course uh, the, the name and the importance of the name is important to us. So as far as my day goes, um, because we are so thin at this point, um, I'm trying to do, what would essentially be a chief technology officer's job. I'm trying to stay on top of the um, of the R and D for horticulture and therapeutics, while managing the managing the uh, manufacturing and logistics. Um, and then, of course, I we have some farmed out labor. <laughs> we have some uh, individuals working for us. Some contractors that are out doing things that just are either outside my purview knowledge base or I don't want to do it um, and that's uh, like web development we have a wonderful web developer and um, um, she's also a great marketer and so she's working new websites and she's she just redid our logos and um, basically putting a face on us uh, for the and then we're uh, soon uh, she'll be working with social media as well we what I I do have a, a sales staff kind of ad hoc right now but a lot of people want to be on board because uh, they see where this is going and um, so Right now, it's such a complicated horticultural lighting is very complex. It's it's not your basic streetlight sales. It's uh, very technical. Uh, you kind of have to know the uh, you, well, you do have to know the industry, and from a cannabis perspective, you got to know the cannabis industry as well uh, because there are definitely most of the owners and growers in the cannabis industry have a very set way of doing things. They speak another language. They they keep different hours. There's a joke in that that I'll tell someday um, <clears throat> as far as hours they keep. But um, it's, uh, it's a different animal. So our sales staff will come upon a lead and we'll, we'll we basically train them on how to vet a lead to see if it's a real lead or not. And then they'll pass it on to me. And then I will work uh, and I'll talk to the customer and I do intensity and lighting distribution and calculations and work with them to give them what they need for their for their particular grow. Um, of course, I pass all this stuff to Zach Hillenbrand, Dr. Hillenbrand. Uh, he is our chief scientific officer and uh, he makes sure that I don't um, mess up the science of what <laughs> we're doing. And I do, I really appreciate it. Probably a longer answer than you wanted, but Hey, lo- longer is better. You know, it, it shows like longer answers show how much more you actually know about the industry. I think you touched on a lot of you know, interesting points for people that are listening. You know, you, you don't only just know lights, you have to know cannabis, you have to know all the other stuff. So there's a big learning curve, I'm sure, in a lot of the projects that you guys are doing um, to make sure they're getting the results out of it that they want, um, but also that you want. I think this was a great, uh, great video. Bob, you're going to have to do more of these. I'm not letting you off the hook. <laughs> no, that'd be great. I'll tell you what, you probably, uh, once you get Zach on uh, one or two, you'll probably kick me to the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, might but, have to but have no, I'd be glad. I, yeah, we could do that too. I, I'd be uh, glad to do this. Um, um, I don't do this as a rule, mainly because I'm not good at it, but uh, you made me very comfortable, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> no, it's good. I, I mean, I think you chatted about a lot of stuff that was 
easy to chat about good for you and got a lot of points out there to people that aren't familiar with the story and you know going forward like i said we're going to be going into the industry all things you're an expert on right um the, your company the industry your general outlook and if other people have questions would love people to send them in we can get them in some of the videos going forward but you know bob i think this is great for a video one uh, anything you want to touch on that you think you forgot or didn't mention about your background and anything that you've done up until this point no no um i'll save the war stories for another day but uh no this has been great um I, and you did hit something uh if anyone has any questions please uh that's actually how i work best um the q a's are my forte um if you ask me to sit and talk about myself i could talk about myself for a day but I'll put you all to sleep. So but thank you very much. And, and if anybody has anything they want to know, um, I'd be more than happy to, to respond in it. And if I don't know, I will find out from somebody competent to answer. Oh, perfect. No, there you go. I mean, transparency and kind of clear messaging going forward, obviously. Uh, yeah. There any questions about anything, even if it's not necessarily related to the business, but just the industry, make sure you drop them below and we'll try and get Bob to answer it or someone else. But either way, Bob, thanks for joining me. That was a good first video.